Hello, Booktube. I come to you on yet another bleak and barren Sunday. When there are no books in the mail, no pitter-patter of little packages in the front hallway, Steve has been abandoned, and Steve is consoling himself in the way, usual way with a book tag. Only this one is uh, ranges further afield than just books. I found it on Julian Greystoke's channel. It's called the, the Geek Girl Tag, and as was pointed out on that channel, the girl part here is a little restrictive. Surely in geekdom, uh, more than any place else that doesn't really matter uh, but <laughs> I thought I would jump right in anyway because if you were to ask my friends in Boston in the real world they would all uniformly tell you I am the biggest geek girl in the world <laughs> so uh, question number one what is your must have tech gadget I actually have quite a few one of them I can't show you because I'm filming on it my iPhone which is a miracle uh, but there's also uh, my iPad. I have an ancient iPad 2 from 10 years ago that still works just fine and does everything. It is actually a miracle machine. It's a, it's a slate of glass and metal, but <laughs> it does everything. I can write on it. I can read on it. I can listen to music on it. I can walk, I can surf the web on it. I can take pictures with it. I can navigate by it. It's just incredible. Uh, there's also the machine I absolutely live by. <laughs> I mean that quite literally. I make my living on it, uh, and that is my MacBook Pro, uh, which, you know, is utterly indispensable. Uh, and I also have a Kindle Fire it's as an e-reader, and I like it, but I have a feeling that, uh, that my perfect e-reader is still out there. I had a Barnes & Noble Nook, one of the earliest ones, and it was great, but it eventually died, and they don't make them anymore. So I'll, I'm, I, I'm constantly in the back of my mind mentally shopping around for a new e-reader, and I'd be happy to take suggestions from any of you in the comments field. Uh, Let's see here. Question number two. What house do you belong to at Hogwarts? Question number three. Who's your favorite doctor? Pun intended. Uh, and uh, since I'm a million years old, my answer will not be the same as most people who would answer this question. Of course, it's Tom Baker, the fourth doctor. Uh, I originally encountered Doctor Who through him, fell in love with the, the great quips that the writers gave him uh, all throughout his run on the show when uh, Romana says, or no, Leela says that he often talks to himself because he likes to talk to the most intelligent person around. Or when he says, quite simply, that humans are quite my favorite species. And uh, those of you who might think that the reason I love him is because he's the only doctor who has a dog, why don't you keep your smarty pants opinions to yourself? Okay. Uh, question number four. Uh, if you could have dinner with any fictional character, who would it be? My answer is easy. Lieutenant Worf. <laughs> because then I would be guaranteed not to have the worst table manners there. <laughs> uh, question number five. What is your gaming system of choice? I'm afraid that's another big departure here for me and a lot of people on BookTube, I suspect. I do not video game. It's, it's passive. It's largely brain dead. You are entirely channeled into the very the very narrow strictures of a preset narrative that you can't change you can't opt out of it you can't if you're looking at the vista of the world that you're in you can't say oh no thanks i'm going to stay home and read uh no no disrespect intended to any uh to any video game players i know a lot of smart people who love them uh but they're not for me i have no gaming system of choice uh it's time that i could spend reading how on earth could I justify it? Uh, anyway, uh, question number six. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Such a long list of things to choose from. The ability to talk to dogs. Uh, periodically changing blood type. An absolutely inhuman pain threshold. <laughs> the ability to see in almost complete darkness. Uh, a freakish immune system that can crush just about anything. <laughs> All sorts of f fantastical things that couldn't possibly be true. <laughs> but no, I think in a bigger sense, this question misses the mark. We all have superpowers. It, think in your life of a person you know. We all know someone who's just dead gray normal. They don't excel at anything. They're not weird in any way. There's nothing you can say, oh, that's, that's freakish, but so-and-so can definitely do it. We all know someone like that. They don't have superpowers. All the rest of us do. <laughs> So, you know, the question is, it's a lot closer to home than I think we think. And, it, you know, if you're feeling down in the middle of an afternoon, try remembering that, that you have superpowers. That's, that always perks people up. 
Uh, question number seven. What is your favorite fantasy world? Uh, I hate to be a killjoy about this one, but all the fantasy worlds, or almost all the fantasy worlds that I have seen, that I've read in books, are either dystopian in some disqualifying way, or quasi-medieval. Quasi-agrarian, quasi-craft-guildy. you know, craft guildy. And I know a lot about what Earth was like when it was like that, and it was no fun. <laughs> For all but a tiny fraction of people, it was no fun. No, as killjoy as it is, this world is the one that I would choose. The one that has MacBook Pros and and ebooks and all sorts of other things. I, I, I don't. I wouldn't want to live in any fantasy world that I've ever encountered. Uh, question number eight. If you could be any fictional race, what would it be? I'm afraid it's sort of the same thing. I hate being a killjoy two questions in a row, but as far as 2,500 years of concentrated human inquiry and, and 100 years of constantly improving human technology can determine. We are the only human-like, self-regarding, technological, aesthetic race anywhere in the universe. Lots of other sentient beings, lots of other sentient species on this planet, not just humans, but only humans can do what humans do. All this stuff that we do. As far as we know, that has never happened anywhere. And it doesn't exist anywhere other than this planet. So I'll, I'll, uh, my vote will be this one <laughs> as, a, as a fictional race. <laughs> uh, question number nine, uh, Star Trek or Star Wars? Come now, please. Star Trek, of course. Star Trek, of course. Star Wars? <sighs> Is there anybody out there who's actually going to plop for a system that gave us Jar Jar Binks? That can't decide what the Force is? That can't... It doesn't make any sense one way or... Uh, <laughs> please. <laughs> Star Trek. <laughs> uh and uh, the last question is uh, number 10. Uh, list your top five geek-tastic movies or TV series. Uh, for me, number five would be the animated Justice League series. <laughs> Where pretty much everything was gotten pretty much perfectly right, right from the first episode. <laughs> Talk about geek-tastic thrills. Oh, God. Uh, uh, number four would be Danny Boyle's 2007 movie Sunshine. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I urge you to see it. But it is it is a geek joy for me. Uh, number three is uh, Peter Jackson's movie Return of the King. And not just his movie of Return of the King, but The Ride of the Rohirrim in Return of the King. Which might just be the greatest sequence put on film. Uh, it, it gets me where I live every time. Uh, number two would be Buffy. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, of course, if you're one of the weird, isolated holdouts out there that hasn't marched your way through Buffy, correct that. If all that you've heard about it is true. Uh, and number one, of course, would be Star Trek. The original Star Trek, the real Star Trek, the, the Star Trek of Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock and Dr. McCoy and the USS Enterprise, NCC-1701, no bloody A, B, C, or D. Uh, that's it. That is the geek girl tag. And the only thing that's left for me to do is tag people. And I tag the biggest geek girls I know. <laughs> Chris Rhodes at The Reading Rhodes. The guys from Strip Cover Lit. <laughs> Adam of Memento Mori. And uh, David at The Populous. So, so <laughs> gather around, girls. And let's hear your answers. <laughs> Thank you, BookTube.